Maryland tulips are in full bloom in New Windsor. Just in time for the Maryland Tulip Festival where we find Alexis Davila. Alexis, how's it go? Oh, just, it's beautiful behind you. The colors are just popping. Uh, exactly, right? And they have some benches out here so you could actually have a whole photo shoot and everything. But we want to talk about a little bit more of these tulips here. And I'm with my new friend, Nate. If you can tell me a little bit about this tulip farm here, because this is the first time this has opened up, here, and it's here in Carroll County for everyone to enjoy. Yeah, we started, uh, I'm with. Um, Old Line Flower Company. I'm a co-owner there with my wife, and we started growing tulips about three years ago on a different piece of property where we actually live. And uh, we started with 10,000 our first year, and then went to 14,000. And now we uh, partnered with Trevor, uh, who you met earlier here at Local Homestead, and uh, we decided to put in 100,000 last fall wow. for people to enjoy here. And when it comes to 100,000, we have so much to pick from. So now we got to talk about how to do this correctly. So tell us a little bit about the process for anybody, whether you're young or old, who could come out this weekend. How should we properly pick a flower? What are we looking for too? Yeah, we could uh, we could come out here with scissors and pick them, you know, above above the ground like we have, you know, with most flowers. But um, we treat these as annuals, so we're going to come down. and We're actually going to try and pull the entire bulb out. Okay. Um, sometimes it comes. We have the you know, good old Carroll County clay uh, clay soil, but um, okay, either way you're going so to either way. You're going to get a little bit longer of a, uh, a stem that way. So we're just going to reach down at the bottom and just kind of pull straight out. And it's nice and wet now, so Ooh. get the bulb out and everything. And then we're going to take it over to our, our, our cutting station and we're going to cut the bulbs off. And then we're also going to ha we have a wash station as well with some sinks and you can wash them off. And we have some cups all ready for everybody to come and put water into and, and take them home. And when we take them home, how do we properly care for it? So you're going to want to change the water every day. Uh, make sure that before you put them in the water, you have all the dirt and everything um, rinsed off. But yeah, change the water every Every day, and that's going to be pretty much it. Nothing too crazy. Uh, make sure the leaves aren't sticking, you know, in the water because it'll develop bacteria and everything. But um, pretty simple. Even with the lighting, wise, does it love light? Should we keep it away from light? In, in lights are perfectly fine. So yeah. Perfect. And tell us a little bit about because we have so many here. The different you have a few varieties out here. Yeah, we have dozens of varieties in, in the mix that we put in this year. So we have um, double bloom varieties, single bloom varieties, all, all different types. So colors, shapes, sizes, everything. Something for everyone. And with that being said, can we talk about also the way that you guys set it up? You wanted to make sure that this is a spot where people can feel like almost at home for you. You have all the time in the world to be here. Why was that important to set it up this way with the bench? Yeah, we wanted the benches. We, we wanted a family atmosphere. We have four kids. We, we understand it's, it's nice to be able to have a, ch a chance to, to spend time with our family, especially out in nature like this. So uh, we have benches set up and tables set up. We want people to bring food um, or use the food trucks this weekend during our festival and uh, just enjoy the time here, take as much time as they want. Perfect. We love that. But we're going to talk a little bit more about this because we can't just walk away from this tulip farm just yet. We're going to come back in about 20 minutes or so so we can talk a little bit more about the other things you can enjoy this weekend.